Ich mache mal kurz eine Prognose. Wir werden bei Nils ein Bier finden. Ich bin mir sicher. Das Video geht zwölf Minuten. Oh, Nils ist auch einfach so eine unglaublich sexy Kreatur. Das ist einfach, das geht nicht auf Mann, ey. Das ist wieder so der Beweis dafür, weißt du, je älter Männer werden, desto, desto knackiger werden die. Ist einfach so. Guckt, guckt euch das mal an. Das Video fängt so an und man ist schon so im Sitz. Oh, oh, oh falsche Tasse. Oh, Nils. Ich möchte ein Baby von dir. Hello and welcome everyone to Hi. my review of the next level racing FGT. Okay, wir müssen unbedingt was am Mikrofon machen. Jetzt, wenn wir das nächste Mal telefonieren, müssen wir da mal was ändern. Lead, which I had in the base. Würde ich vorschlagen oder dir anbieten. So klingt's besser. Entschuldigung. It's been for quite a long time in my old flat, but now that we moved, I had the chance to finally build it and now I'm sharing that info with you. So, let's just get into it, shall we? Yes. This is now how it's sitting in the room. And you can see color-wise, it's much better than before. The black anthracite thingy looks much better easily. It's a typical 80-20 rig. They do their few bits and pieces. Moment, we both have like those feet there. They have cable clamps uh, in there already. And also the, like the base beams, they have a little extra kind of shape so they don't look as dull um they also have this thing with the vertical beams and the monitor arms down there you can see right there is a little angled which gives the whole thing a little more dynamic they chose to have those quick releases for the seat so you can quickly adjust the position it's much easier to mount than a seat slider um and <laughs> das stimmt das ist definitiv richtig and here's a lot of room to also tighten these Bolt, so mounting it there is not really an issue. The seat doesn't really have to do much with the rig itself. Actually, funnily enough, matches the colors. And one of the best investments I did on my rig ever is that seat, because those bucket seats, they're absolutely terrible for your lower back. This thing solved any issues I might have had. Here's the pedal rack. You can see the that's actually a wheel deck that I use as the heel rack. <laughs> might have had. Here's the Was pedal rack. You? Da brauchte wohl jemand ein bisschen Grip. Naja, Gaffer Tape Regel. Oh wow. You can see the that's actually a wheel deck that I use as the heel rest because it was left over and actually comes in very handy here because. Es war oh nein, Nils sagt mir noch nicht, dass du auch noch ein Sockenfahrer geworden bist, ey. Oh, ich kann diese ganzen ganzen Sockenfahrer alle nicht mehr ernst nehmen. Um, I didn't have a fitting. Um, yeah, kind of deck for the pedals there from, from Heusingwell. I had it for the old rig, but that didn't fit here. So the wheel deck came in really handy, resting my feet there. Um, we'll have more detail on how I had to mount the pedals a tiny bit later. You can see the brake and throttle are mounted around the center of the rig and the clutch is a little aside there because you don't actually need it that much so my left leg is pushing straight which is really important for your knees view from the back here mainly the monitor das hier macht dich sehr sympathisch wirklich das macht dich sehr sympathisch und das meine ich ernst weil ich das auch habe jedes mal wenn ich darüber gucke alles ist schwarz aber oben ganz hinten versteckt sind noch drei aluprofile dran die sind silber und ich brauche die und jedes Mal, wenn hier einer reinkommt, warum hast du da silber, silberne Aluprofile dran? Weil da meine Kamera dran ist und mein, äh, mein Licht. Fünf Head. Mount, here's a clamp with my key light I recently got additionally. And everything looks pretty clean there. We have a couple more to say about the monitor mount in a second. Here you can see the whole thing. You can also tell by the silver beam. It kind of doesn't belong in there, but I had to do this to get more adjustability that wasn't there by default. But we'll have this uh, again in a couple seconds when we speak about the issues of this rig. Adjustability is there for the pedals, for the monitor mount, for the wheel deck. They also have these scares, the scales there. I'll zoom in later on that. And I have the front and side mount addition here. So the wheel base kind of floats in the middle of the room there. And um, it's a much nicer way to mount it than I had to previously on my rig, which was really, really fiddly. Man sieht auf jeden Fall, dass äh, Nils mit sehr viel Hass gebaut hat zwischendurch. Das sind Spuren des Hasses. Ich bin mir ziemlich sicher, dass das Spuren des Hasses sind. 
uh, as a way to mount it than I had to previously on my rig, which was really, really fiddly. Also got the tray for the keyboard and mouse, though I'm just using the mouse separately here because in their version, both is on the left side, which I found a little weird. So I just used the shifter mount to put the kind of uh, mouse pad there. This then the arm for the keyboard tray. And there's a tiny bit of an issue that the bolt you see in the center of the screen right now, this is a tiny bit too small. So there's a little bit of play here in the keyboard tray, which is kind of the first of the issues that we really need to mention. There are very few and very tiny things that are, well, slightly annoying. So I have this big movement here, no problem, but that's just tiny movement that I just can't get rid of because the bolt is a bit too small. Then here I'm showing you the washers behind the, the bolt head. And I had to screw them really tight because the rear base was still moving, but I had to kind of bolt it in there so tight. That so sehen alle meine Unterlegscheiben übrigens aus. Alle. The washers gave in a little, so they seem to have a little weaker material, which might be on purpose, but I'll probably have to add different or double washes here. Then the monitor mount, you can see it's already moved all the way forward. So the closest to me and without the vertical edition, uh, sorry, the horizontal silver edition here that I did, I wouldn't be able to get them. So klingt das übrigens total classy. Die, die Silver Edition. Monitor close enough to me, it would still be like 10, 15 centimeters further away than I actually want to have it. And it would hover like center over the wheelbase. And now it's just kind of in line with the start of the wheelbase. Another thing is the vertical beams here. They're just a bit too large, which is down to the rig also being used for their motion platform. So they need a bit more flexibility there with height adjustments. But in my case, now the monitor just rests there and can't go any lower. I think I would want it ever so slightly lower here. Das empfinde ich auch bei Next Level Racing so, dass dieses Schräge, also die, das Schräge ist gar nicht so schlimm, sondern die Länge, äh, die Länge der äh, Aluprofile ist einfach, also ich würde mal sagen, um so ein Stück zu lang. Um Zähne. But on the plus side, now the monitor also sits really firm on the rig and it doesn't oscillate at all anymore, which really was a problem when I had it floating in the air and only mounted to um, the monitor mount at the back. The monitor kind of kept shaking for quite some time after every force feedback impact. Then the pedal tray has that issue. You were just able to see um, the height adjustment arm and angle adjustment arm has goes through a slot between those two uh, plates uh, across the rig. And this is the closest position you can get those two plates. So mounting the housing belt pedals with a fairly large needed me to drill extra holes because I couldn't get those things closer to one. Oh, I can the pain yet should spur. I hope that is good bore. And another. So you either have a separate plate or you have to get creative here. Then also, this is the furthest away position. It kind of um, is now blocking another bolt that holds the rig together at the base. So I had to, yeah, you ca I can't really adjust it without moving the pedals again. And also the entire pedal construction has so many bolts and so many movable parts that if you actually try to adjust something, um, that it's going to be, well, you need more arms than you have. You at least need two people, which it also states in the manual. But how many times do you actually have two people available to make such an adjustment? Das ist übrigens, ich sag's wie es ist, absoluter Quatsch. Das geht alles alleine. Das geht alles alleine. Glaub mir, das geht. However... I got it into it's no super nervy. the position that I wanted it to have. And now you can see my seating position here. The legs are just kind of going downwards ever so slightly. So it's not completely horizontal, not a formula position, just kind of between formula and GT. And also, if you take the GT Elite Edition, this whole pedal thing won't be an issue. It's only on the FGT Elite. Then take a special look at how much the rig moves. And I'd say it barely does so. Like if you look at the edge of the screen. Ja, Entschuldigung, du fährst ja aber auch Kindergeburtstag vor das Feedback hier. Nils, jetzt hör mal auf zu... Sage mal! Das, also bitte! You can see the monitor barely moves in the frame and also the vertical beams and 
the wheel base and nothing really gives in here which is a huge improvement over the GT1 EVO rig I had before which had only a single mounting position for the vertical beams which just naturally gives the beams a very large lever over the rig to move left and right and next level racing here has two mounting positions for the vertical beams and that makes it Ich bin ja so ein, so ein kleiner Kackarsch, ne? Es tut mir leid, dass ich das anspreche. Wie alt ist diese äh, wie alt ist diese äh, Verlängerungsstrippe schon? Also aus Elektriker Sicht würde ich sagen, könnte man mal auswechseln. Hat schon ein paar Jahre auf dem Buckel. Also, falls irgendwann mal äh, Brandherd und so, weißt du, wo du gucken musst. Mmh. Die hat schon ein paar Jahre. That it's it really is a big difference and it really kind of uh, silences the rig and makes it much more rigid in the end which is what you want as a sim racer on the direct drive real base so i'm liking this fact a lot was ich total interessant finde ist dass dein auto so hoch ist dein dings ist so hoch warte mal wenn wir jetzt mal deinen augen deinen horizont nehmen dann guckst du gerade so hier oben drüber oder täuscht das gerade? Und hoch guckst du auch, dein Kind ist hoch, oder? Täuscht das gerade? So this is now how I'm driving. Um, and overall I think I couldn't be much happier right now. Because nothing is moving. I'm sitting in a really comfortable position. Partly down to the seat, which was also very easy to mount. Didn't have to do any adjustments to that. The, the plates here that are right uh, coming out of the box, they just fit it perfectly. Uh, and you, again, I showed you the, the quick release things that allow to adjust the position really well. And once everything was in position, I'm really happy. Just my only concern is that you really need more hands because you can only really adjust your driving position once you're sitting in the rig and everything is mounted. So pedals are on and wheel is on. But then with all this weight, it becomes really tricky to actually move these things. So um, that's a bit of a nice in their marketing video where they move everything up and down very easily. Yo, der Sitz ist richtig gut, Koka. Das ist einer der besten Sitze. <lacht> wirklich jetzt. Das ist wirklich einer der besten Sitze. Wenn ich heute mir einen Sitz kaufen müsste, würde ich mir, würde ich mir einen von denen holen, ja. Die sind unglaublich bequem. Mizi, jetzt lass mich doch bitte mal von Onkel Nils das Video gucken. Bitte. Without wheelbases and pedals attached, which of course makes it a lot easier. And then you have an angle in the monitor mount where you always move the monitor horizontally, but also in height when you adjust it. So there's, yeah, it's kind of more tricky to adjust. But they also have these kind of nice things, such as these scales, which make it a lot easier to kind das of find your cool. position and find your position again, should you have to rebuild the rig in a different position. And they also come with these standard, well, default. They also, uh, wenn man dick ist, dann hat man eh nicht so viel Sitzauswahl. Ist einfach so. Dann bist du bei, uh, bist du bei Nesca-Sitzen von Amis angekommen, wenn du eine Schale haben möchtest. Und dann hast du nicht wirklich sehr viel Auswahl. Und dann hast du selbst mit einem Momo Daytona XXL hast du Schwierigkeiten. They bring you cable clamps so you can sort your cables on the rig, which is often an issue. I just wish the clamps were even stricter, like more firm. <lacht> Jetzt, ich feier, ich feier dich einfach so sehr. Das ist einfach so, weißt du, das, das, das Video hier zeigt einfach, wisst ihr was, draufgeschissen, fickt euch alle ins Knie. Wisst ihr, ich habe mir einen scheiß Zettel daran geklebt, da steht drauf, was ich machen muss. Was ich drücke, scheiß mal auf Buttonbox und den ganzen Blödsinn. Ich fahr trotzdem schnell. Ich fahr trotzdem schnell, ich brauch den Quatsch nicht. Brauch ich nicht. Wofür? Often an issue. I just wish the clamps were even stricter, like more firm. Because now if you put like three, four, five cables in there, which all are firm in themselves, then the clamp gives in a little and eventually the cable will slip out. As you can see here, it's now all... Ja, aber Maga, du klemmst da ja auch äh, keine normalen Kabel rein, Alter. Guck dir mal die beiden Oschis an. Wie soll, wie soll das denn halten? Kleiner Tipp, wenn du die beiden nach unten machst hier und die beiden nach oben, dann kriegst du zu. Würde ich fast meinen Arsch drauf verwetten. Die dicken unten und die kleinen oben. Würde ich fast, ich, ich würde, äh, ich würde auf, auf ein Bier würde ich wetten. Also nicht für mich, aber ich weiß, du trinkst Bier, Nils. Äh, auf ein Bier würde ich wetten. Aber so war die Aufbereitung. <lacht> ja, 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 ja. Ist okay. Du, mir ist das egal. Pff. Ich, also, ich verstehe das, was du, was du sagen möchtest. Ich hätte auch keinen Bock, das umzubauen. All in position, but it's pretty 
pretty filled much nicer than before a good start i think make the clamp more firm and then it's going to be perfect next level racing <gasps> Oh, 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 das hätte man doch... Mann, Mizi, jetzt lass mich doch bitte von Onkel Nils das Video gucken. Du kannst nicht immer äh, intervenieren, das geht nicht. Ist jetzt anders, ich schwöre. Ich habe nichts gesagt. Was, I have to say, really open for my feedback. They were really happy. I was, I was giving them, so I gave them all the detail I gave you just now with all the little issues, like when they have two different T-Nuts because they're using two different slot sizes on their different beams um which leads to you having to pay more attention to the manual which kind of t nut to use in in which slot which you'll immediately find out once you get the wrong one but still kind of just makes the process a little more fiddly to get the right one and also especially the big t nuts don't have one to show you right now they cannot be retrofitted like with the small ones you can always go into the slot and turn it around but the big ones they won't be able to do nope. that so you actually have to fit all these big t-nuts should you change anything later already before yep. you mount the entire rig because then at some point there will be new screws or bolts in the way and you can't actually put the t-nut where you want to mm. So probably good idea would be to build the rig and think ahead as much as you can what you might plan with it. Every time you use the big T-nut in one of those big slots. Die sind wirklich anders, die, die, ähm, die Nutsteine bei Next Level Racing. Warum, weiß ich nicht, aber sie sind anders. Aber sie haben wirklich ein sehr, sehr gutes Manual. Also sie haben wirklich eine sehr, sehr gute Bauanleitung da drin. Haben sie wirklich. Make sure maybe you just add one or two. Man muss sie nur lesen. Man, man muss sie nur lesen. Two extra, so you have more options later down the line. Then, again, I'm very happy with the rig. Thank Next Level Racing for supporting the team, for supporting me with the rig, because this thing is a couple hundred euros, and it definitely is an improvement to my sim racing at the end of the day. You saw it was really rigid. I'm sitting very comfortably, probably more comfortable than ever before. Um, it looks much better. It looks so much better in my room than the silver rig I had before. And um, as long as you find your final seating position and you are not sharing the rig with too many people, then you also don't have to do too many adjustments. So all these things are kind of tiny issues, which you will overcome after the first day of frustration, <laughs> building the whole thing. But I promise you, you'll... Ich fand das jetzt, also... Uh ich persönlich fand NCXT bauen bis jetzt am einfachsten und angenehmsten. Also ich habe noch nie so ein Rig gebaut, was so angenehm zu bauen war. Wirklich jetzt nicht. Und ich habe das auch schon gebaut. Be very happy once everything is done. I thank you all for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like the video if you did. And help yourself on popometer.io oh. with setups, but more importantly comparison data, because that's where most of the lab time for you will be found. Thank you all for watching and see you very soon. Äh? Bye. Ich denke, das finden wir jetzt mit dem NCXT Rig. Mit was denn jetzt, Nils? Was soll denn das? So. Das ist doch aber gut. Ich weiß gar nicht, was du hast. Spitzen Ding. Kühlig. Das ist wirklich ein sehr schönes Rig.